major new developments in the race for the White House. Several top Republican leaders are growing increasingly concerned that Donald Trump's campaign is in trouble amid reports of turmoil inside the campaign. Just a short time ago, what Donald Trump said after talk of that turmoil amid a new poll just out tonight. Take a look. The Fox News poll released just a short time ago showing Hillary Clinton now with a 10 point lead, 49 to 39, the biggest lead in months. So how is Trump reacting to it all? ABC's David Wright is in Florida. Tonight in Florida, Donald Trump insists his campaign has never been stronger. The campaign is doing really well. It's never been so well united. Right now, it's the best in terms of being united that it's been since we began. And from his campaign manager, this. Well, the candidate is in control of his campaign. But Republican leaders see a campaign imploding. They're furious that instead of attacking Hillary Clinton, Trump lashed out at the grieving parents of a fallen soldier. I was viciously attacked, so I think I have the right. And pointedly refused to endorse House Speaker Paul Ryan. President Obama is now pressuring Republicans to withdraw their endorsements. There has to be a point at which you say, this is not somebody I can support for President of the United States. Some prominent Republicans are doing just that. Among them, Hewlett Packard CEO Meg Whitman announcing today she's voting for Clinton, saying Trump's candidacy has exploited anger, grievance, xenophobia, and racial division. And now, with Clinton's poll numbers rising, the billionaire is doubling down on this warning. I'm afraid the election's going to be rigged, I have to be honest. Offering no proof, Trump is now predicting rampant voter fraud. People are going to walk in, they're going to vote 10 times, maybe. Who knows? They're going to vote right. 10 times. Um, so I am very concerned, and I hope the Republicans are going to be very watchful. Some Trump supporters are now openly telling him, rein it in. You have one person to attack, Hillary Clinton. Don't run against the world. He has got to find a way to slow down, really learn some new lessons. I mean, this is a little bit like The Apprentice, except... David Wright with us live tonight. And David, last night here, Donald Trump saying he is, quote, not ready to endorse House Speaker Paul Ryan with Ryan's primary just days away now, causing an uproar within the party. Has Trump changed his mind tonight? Apparently not, David, but today his running mate broke ranks. Governor Mike Pence, a former congressman, did endorse Ryan, calling him a longtime friend and a strong conservative leader. Pence said he did talk to Trump ahead of the endorsement and said that Trump strongly encouraged him to endorse him. David? David Wright at a Trump rally tonight. David, thank you. And all of this comes amid questions over what Donald Trump said women should do if they're sexually harassed in the workplace. ABC's Cecilia Vega now with what Ivanka Trump is now saying as she defends her dad. Tonight, Donald Trump's own comments about workplace sexual harassment causing yet another controversy. It began when Trump defended former Fox News boss Roger Ailes, who resigned after several women claimed he harassed them. I can tell you that some of the women that are complaining, I know how much he's helped them, and now all of a sudden they're saying these horrible things about him. It's very sad. And then when asked, what if Ivanka Trump was harassed at work? Trump saying in a recent interview, I would like to think she would find another career or find another company if that was the case. Suggesting that the victim is the one who should leave the job. Eric Trump defending his father. You should certainly take it up with human resources. And I think you know she, she definitely right. would as a strong person. At the same time, I don't think she would allow herself to, to be subjected to that. From Fox's Megyn Kelly, a one word response, sigh. The Republican nominee later telling the Washington Post it's a woman's choice whether to stay on the job or quit, saying, I think a lot of women wouldn't want to stay in a place where they're being harassed. Ivanka Trump stepped in to try to clean up the mess. I think it's sexual harassment is inexcusable in, in any setting. I think harassment in general, regardless, sexual or otherwise, is, um, is totally inexcusable, and if it transpires, it needs to be reported and it needs to be dealt with on a company level. And Cecilia Vega with us live tonight from Colorado and Cecilia Hillary Clinton speaking a short time ago there. Uh, she did not bring up this sexual harassment controversy. Is that part of their strategy now? It is, and it's a strategy that seems to be let to Donald Trump do the talking, especially in the wake of this rocky 24 hours. But, David, you can bet that these controversial comments will come back to haunt him in a campaign ad against him very soon. David. Cecilia Vega with us as well tonight from Colorado. Thanks, Cecilia.